Lord know, it's always smooth sailing for the SS American. Welcome aboard, sir. And may I say what a wise decision it is, settling in the night before sailing. You're damn right. Well, enjoy the crossing. Anyone shown up here asking for me? I'm expecting a young man from my office. I'm afraid not, sir. This is the last call, sir. Oh, well. Okay, okay. Make it up. Business of pleasure to you, sir. Judy! The Henley Regatta! Boot the yell boat home! Bulldog, bulldog! Bow, wow, wow! Eli Yale! Playball! Crocker! Where the hell have you been? Relax, boss. I've been taking care of business. I've got your uh, steamer ticket. English money, uh, and you train to go up to Henley. And I picked your dog up from J Press. Your sweater looks terrific. What about my passports? Oh, nuts. Uh, I'm really sorry, boss. I'll bring it to you first thing in the morning, uh, on the boat. To right. And I want you down to Wall Street, first thing, to sell all my shares of amalgamated fresh jewelry. Boss, the firm's entire assets are tied up and amalgamated. I know, but I got a hot tip from Charlie Blodgett. You told me Charlie Blodgett was a liar and a drunk. He is, but he's a yam. Well, the road, sir. Ah, thank you. Any calls for me, person? Uh, Nancy, Harriet, Lorraine, two Lorraines. How about a hope? Hope hard for no, but there was a lady he was asking for you. She's wrong, really. It was only me. Rita! Oh my god, we had a date! That's okay. I say you did it, but um, you already did. Oh, you know, I'm so sorry. My boss is going to London in the morning. I had a thousand things I had to do for him. I'm going to London in the morning. All you have to do is buy me one drink. What will it be now? A martini, only put a chair in it instead of an olive. Manhattan. You know, I'm getting worried about you, really. I'm not sure this Wall Street job is good for you. Hey, I'm earning $35 a week. <laughs> yeah, but look at you. Look at your coat. You're in trouble, kid. If you keep acting like a stuff shirt stockbroker, you're going to turn into one. Why do I put up with this? Because you're nuts about me. <laughs> in fact, I I've got a great idea. Why don't you come to London with me? Great no, we'll do the town upright. Buckingham House, Big Bear, the bushes in Hyde Park. Be serious. I am serious. Come with me, Billy. Anyone will be the same without you. Guys like me are a dime a dozen. You won't miss me over there. Why are the cute ones always so dumb? <laughs>
something I've got to tell you. Yeah? I'm in love. I'm in cabin 13. Meet me right after we sail. Stop with you, Reno. I'm in love with a girl. <laughs> I, I mean, God, she's fantastic. She's so fantastic, she won't even talk to me. That's why I can't get a little bit So that's it, is it? All this time, you were just giving me the runaround. The runaround? You have been thinking you wanted to marry me. How could you think that? I have always treated you with respect. Exactly. <laughs> did you ever try to get me drunk? No. Did you, did you ever ask me out to your apartment to look at your etchings? No. We did an attack you dozens of times, and did you ever want to grow? No. Not one class you grow. You shouldn't have let me on like that if you didn't mean it. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I never meant to mislead you. You never even laid a hand on me, and I'm not used to my men treating me like that. <laughs> my dear sailing up with us. Your Highness, no. How much? 
You know, I made the connection of the expression you and Adam's use. Now that's a smooch is a kiss. I say, darling, how about a smooch? <laughs> darling, isn't that made west over there? I mean, Fuck 
Forget about snake eyes. Guy, an earl of something. 
forgive me, I'm afraid I rather overdid it in the dining room. Oh, me too. Did you have the, uh, the sweetbreads? Best brains I ever ate. <laughs> you know, I've never seen them served like that before with uh, jelly deals and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I find you out here in the moonlight. I didn't shoot him. I didn't push him overboard. I thought it was more than fair. Billy, you're being terrible bad. Or we hardly know each other. Hardly know each other? We met one night at a party. We danced, had a little too much wine. We took a little spin around the park. <laughs> you call five hours in the back of a cab a little spin? It was four hours. It was five hours. You remember you, uh, you fell asleep after we, I remember. Uh, I took you to that little cafe down by the docks. We had breakfast as the sun came up. We talked about, about going to California, getting out of the bungalow, raising the orange trees. Raising kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Billy, that was a fantasy. Things like that just aren't done. Yeah. I guess you're right. Who was I kidding? You and me. Billy, this is all wrong. I'm going to marry Evelyn and nothing can change that. You can change that. All you have to do is no. say... No! Billy, if you don't let me alone, I'll make a scene. You love me, Hope. You're going to marry me. Come 
come round to uh, take up the collection. I thought you did that in chapel. You planning to attend chapel? Well, no. Then pony up, bro. Come back in the morning when you got a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I seem to be wearing somebody else's hat. Can you read whose initials are in here? <laughs> Where the hell are my glasses? Are you sure you had them on when you barged in here? What? This is my stateroom! Then what the hell am I doing in here? I've never been so insulted in all my life! Hey, why don't you put on your other glasses? I huh? don't have another pair of glasses. Good. That's just me. What I wanted to know. Yes, good. Well, I stole his glasses. <laughs> now we just gotta hope the captain doesn't stop by. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, boy. Uh, hang on. Uh, come in. Sorry to disturb you, Doctor. But does a Mr. Murray Hill Flowers occupy this cabin? Oh, well, uh, not very often. Can I, can I help you in some way? We've had an urgent radiogram from Washington. The man you're traveling with is not Murray Hill Flowers. He's Snake Eyes Johnson, public enemy number one. Public enemy number one? Oh, Santa Domingo! <laughs> Don't worry, man. My man can handle it. But if he does turn up, just give me a shout. Uh, I was, uh, just practicing. <laughs> ah, help! Oh, that's close. Don't take this the wrong way, Doc. But I don't think you're really a minister. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. <laughs> I'm not a minister. You see, I'm a moon faced mortal. Fa famous gangster? Sorry. Eh? No. Yeah. Public enemy number 13. <laughs> ah! Help! Police! <laughs> hey, you're not gonna rat me out, are you? It's all for relax, we're at my house. Then, uh, then where were you going? I've got a wedding to bust up. Look, well, you can't go out there. The captain thinks you're uh, Snake Eyes Johnson. What I need is a disguise. Yeah. <coughs> a gorilla suit or a suit of armor. Yeah. Yeah. Or a sailor suit. You want a sailor suit? No problem. <laughs>
We have been informed that public enemy number one is on board this ship. Keep this quiet. He's public enemy number one. We don't want to set up a panic among the passengers. Go and check the foredeck and report back to me on the bridge. Aye, sir. And remember, he's a master of the skies. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. This is ridiculous! <laughs> These pegs must be six inches too short! I don't think I ever picked the guy for the length of his pants. No, don't shoot! I'm coming out! No, oh, it's all over. I'm sorry. I... Here we go. What was that noise, man? That was a trap shooting contest. Crap shooting contest? Skeet shooting, Doctor. Oh. First prize is $100. <laughs> Can you, uh... Can you use your own gun? Of course. I'll see you later. Hey, work. Oh! Yes. Really, Mother? We didn't lose all our money in the crash. Why, if I changed my mind right now and decided not to marry Evelyn, it'd be fine. We would not! You two haven't quarreled. Have you? Oh no. Like to gamble, huh? Yes. Yeah. Did you uh 
Ever shoot craps? No. Neil Christian, and watch closely. <laughs> okay, I put up my money. Uh huh. And uh, you put up your money. Okay. And I draw a number. Now, if I draw the same number before you draw a seven, I win. If not, you win. Okay? So I'm aiming for an eight. <laughs> Gotta get a seven.
standing there in her nakedness, she... Calm down, Mooney. There's something wrong here. Ah, there's nothing wrong here. Uh, uh, wait a minute, no, I... I will not allow this British... Uh, lion to twist American womanhood by the tail. Do you think your girlfriend will marry you after this? I don't think she's not gonna know, cause I'm gonna tell her. Oh, do! Oh, you're making me think her. She doesn't complain I lack fur. No, wait a minute, hang on a minute, Buster. You're not taking the right attitude. I'm a dangerous man! Oh, go on, Padre. You're no sweetheart and you know it. Right! <laughs> That's it! I'm gonna prove to you that I'm a desperate character. Oh, damn. Would you mind waiting for just one second? Now don't move. You stay right there. Huh? Say, what an extraordinary fellow. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Evie, um. There's something I gotta tell you. Uh, this was a setup. A setup? Yeah, we, we were gonna frame you. I'm, I'm sorry. Frame me? He was supposed to bust in and, and catch us in a clinch. Do you mean to say he thought I'd make love to you? <laughs> well, that was kind of the idea. Oh, that is exciting! <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, damn. Damn, good. Oh, Don't need it. Don't need it. Oh, we got a gun in there. You, uh, you're, you're ready to put that, that thing down now, Mooney? What you get with the props? <laughs> yes. You ready to put it away? No! No! It's all right, Padre. You thought I'd take advantage of this, sweetie, yeah? and you came to her rescue. And I admire you for it. I really do admire you enormously. What's the expression? I have hot pants for you. <laughs> now you just wait a minute, Buster. You stay there, I'll shoot! <laughs> Oh, come on, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky! Where 
on the side. <laughs> just, just get rid of her somewhere. Go. What do you want me to do with her? I don't know. Chuck her up. Over. No, don't do that. Okay. Ah, she's fighting the magazine. Hey, hey. Why, it's right beside you little nosy. Oh, do that. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that. Oh, look, would you relax? I know for a fact that all dogs are good swimmers. <laughs> It was 
me. Oh, we lost him!
Cognac of Cointreau in Rouen. Cognac, Cointreau. Whatever makes you happy, Mom. Uh, Mom, please stop it. I'm sorry. In all seriousness, Pope has uh, a little announcement you'd like to make. Pope, what's this all about? Go on, baby. Tell her. The world won't end. I can't. All right. I'll tell her. No! Um, I just... Pope, I know this is hard for you. You have to choose. I said... <laughs> Anyone have hot pants for a game of shuffleboard? Captain, we can't! We've got it, ladies and gentlemen. No cause for alarm. What did he do? He didn't know where is he? Ladies and gentlemen, the man they just arrested is Snake Eyes Johnson. Public enemy number one. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Take him away, sailor. Hey, wait a minute. You A celebrity like Snake Eyes Johnson. <laughs> Let me get this straight. If I'm just a stowaway, you throw me in jail. But if I'm a famous murderer, you roll out the red carpet. You'll be my guest for dinner at the captain's table. Now, wait a minute! <laughs> you know he's not the only famous gangster on this ship. What do you mean, Doctor? I mean, I'm not a minister. A moon faced Martin. Still no? And I'm a public enemy, too. Public enemy number two? <gasps> yeah! No! Shut up, boy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears we have not one, but two famous criminals on board. Let's make them feel hope.
Why? Well, there was a time when I drank. Eh? What do you do now? Use a funnel? Hallelujah! I'm cursed with sex appeal. It's been my downfall. She's not confessing, she's advertising. Hallelujah! Come on, who gives a real confession? I say, might I have a gift? <laughs> Speak up, brother. I, I want to hear this. Some time ago, while I was visiting China, I met a lovely little Chinese girl named Plum Blossom, of whom I became extremely fond. Eventually, we had an unpremeditated romp in the rice, and I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> well, um, I was worried about you, brother, but I feel much better now. <laughs> Hallelujah! Do you hear that playing? Yes, I hear that playing. Do you know who's playing? No, who is that playing?
You want a confession? I'll give you a confession. Three weeks ago, I met a girl and I fell in love with her. How did I show it? I hounded her. I embarrassed her. I made her cry. I I'm sorry, Hope. All I want is for you to be happy. I'll never bother you again. Whoa, he's this! He doesn't sound like Snake Hype Johnson. I'm not! I'm no gangster. I'm just a broken down broken. Then he's a phony! I want my money back! Yeah! He's a fake! Yeah! yeah. Put that man in irons! Oh, that's it, kid! Get behind me! We're gonna shoot our way out of here, fit kid! wrong here! Throw them both in the brain. Who keeps a violin in a violin case? Uh, uh, uh Captain. Yes, ma'am? Is it true you had the authority to perform weddings on board this vessel? It is, ma'am, yes. Then I'd like you to discuss with 10 a.m. tomorrow. These young people are very eager to be married, and they would like to be married before anything else can go wrong. Mother, uh, make that night 30. As you wish, ma'am. Dillinger once told me, 
It's always darkest just before they turn on the lights. There's an old Australian bush song that Melba used to sing. A song that always cheered me when I was blue. Even Melba said this bush song was a hell of a song to sing. So be quiet whilst I render it for you. <clears throat> when your instinct tells you that disaster is approaching you faster and faster, then be like a bluebird and sing tweet tweet. Drama, drama, drama. When you know your head is for the jailer, don't allow the old face to look paler. Just be like a bluebird and sing tweet tweet. Drama. Service. 
The woman I am destined to marry tomorrow is not one and the same, but the woman I love. You, you mean you're not in love with Hope? That's fantastic! I mean, um, it's good you found out in time, time and all. Uh, there's the rub. Do you know the Oakley motto? Nostrum fuglium centaurum? What's that mean? No one really knows, but we're not supposed to go around backing out of engagements. So. Oh well. Adieu, Miss Sweeney. You know, there's just one thing I can't figure out. That business in the rice paddy. Plum blossom. Now how does that fit in with your nost... Uh, so whatever. Goodness. This is most embarrassing. Must I explain? <coughs> it's your motto. Miss Sweeney, I've never told this to anyone before. It's the Oakley family secret. There's something dark and savage in our blood. In mine especially. Long, long ago, so long ago I hardly know when. My great, great grandmother, now and then, stepped out with a gypsy. Of course you would say she was. A little bit tipsy. But it's in no end of their love. It wasn't that. So I can't wait to get the stage all set. So I can let the gypsy and me out. I think a Yeah. 
hear this will happen. I hope you are satisfied. <laughs> oh. Kid, come here. Uh, you know your problem, kid? You ain't got no philosophy. There's an old Australian moon. Just, just no. no. Oh, all right. Half past. Half past what? Well, uh, you see, I don't know, because uh, Mickey's tail fell off, see? Hey, you mouse! No! Boys, I got fabulous news. The best thing that could ever happen to someone just happened to me. You got parole! She's in love. Once more, Evelyn's in love with me. Oh, that's great. I know. It's perfect. Yeah. Reno marries Evelyn. Billy marries Hope. Oh, that only leaves what? Uh, uh, one little problem. What's that? Oh, now, uh, now how am I going to put this? Uh, let me out! Let me out! Let me out of here now! Oh, gee. Oh, Reno, it's right. What are we going to do? If only we were Chinese. Yeah. Chinese? Well, bake it out of here in an hour. What? Oh, think, 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 think. Hey. Hey, you fellas. What would you say to, uh, to a quick game of poker? Sure. Huh? Eh? A little lower. I can't play cast the purse. I took my money. Oh. Oh, well, that, that, that's no problem. We'll just play strip poker. Eh? If I lose, I take off my clothes. But if you lose, then... Ah! Listen! Listen! Oh, come down! Shh! It's okay. Look, your shoe is untied. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! Oh. Wow!
here we belong. We are gathered here together over the bodies of... We are, we are assembled here to join together in the bonds of holy matrimony. Stop! 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 We have come far. Travel a long way. We have big talk. Big English gentlemen. We arrive in the nick of time. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm afraid you've come in reference to my Hong Kong interests. Well, you've, uh, you've chosen a bad moment. I'm about to be married. No! Not a married! Oh, not a married, not a married! Oh. Well, well, why not a married? I mean, I mean, why can't he be married? Rissa, I explain. <laughs> I have the honor to introduce to you Wu Chang Moon. <laughs> oh, hello. Brittle Prombrosser. And who is Brittle Prombrosser? Yes, who is Brittle Prombrosser? Oh, this is a Brittle Prombrosser! Brittle Chinese Princess. Until Lord Evelyn turned her into a little Chinese tramp. I'm not sure I follow this. Lord Evelyn take rice. Plum blossom onto a rice paddy and bring back plum tart! <gasps> Jeremy, is this really true? I'm afraid so. East is east and all that, but for one brief moment I was afraid that our twins did meet. And how? Pretty soon come along little plum pudding! Evelyn, is this woman really little plum blossom? <laughs> it all happened so long ago, yes. Too hard to explain, eh? Long, long ago. Apologies to one and all, but under the circumstances, I can't see how I could possibly marry this hard. Don't be ridiculous. All these people want is money. Look, you two, I'll give you a thousand dollars to clear out. Oh, we'll take it. <laughs> Don't insult us with offer of filthy money. How about two thousand? Rich man cannot buy Chinese honor. All right, I'll make it five thousand. Oh, Chinese honor sold. No, no, Mr. Whitney, don't pay me. No amount of money can I do this great wrong. You, sir, are you a relative of Plum Blossom? We old poker buddies. Well then, Evelyn, the only way for you to undo this debt of honor is for you to offer him me. I say, what a marvelous idea! Hope! No! No! What? Uh, except Chinese on a say! What about five grand? Moon! Mm. Oh. oh! Congratulations, old boy. You're getting quite a girl. <clears throat> Why not English gentlemen join the club and uh, right, wrong, done for from Russia? Right, wrong, done for. Oh, I say, confounded why not? See here, Plum Blossom, will you marry me? Sweetie, I thought you'd never ask. Oh. <laughs> Mother, Mother, why was this the matter? What's the matter? We're poor again. I should have to spend the rest of my life living in hotels. Like hell, you will. <laughs> marry me, Evangeline. Say yes. And you'll live the rest of your life in the lap of luxury. Yay, life! <laughs> My savior, a knight in shining armor! Uh, Mr. Whitney? Crocker! Yes, boss. You never told me you were Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, sir. And, and I have a confession to make. You see, I never made it down to the stock exchange. I stowed away on board this boat and I, uh, I never sold your amalgamated shares. You never, that means I'm ruined. Ruined? I'm sorry, boss. Well, 
At least I've got someone to comfort me in my misfortune. Wow. Mr. Whitney, Mr. Whitney, Archie came from New York. Mama made it just went through the roof. You're a zillionaire. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Eli! How do you do it, boss? How? Brains, guts, and the world's finest education. Bulldog, bulldog, bow, wow, wow. Eli, yeah, oh, buddy, you won't come here. Maybe a dog, does this belong to anybody? Oh, Jackie! Where have you been? I found him in the swimming pool. <laughs> what, what was he doing in the swimming pool? Yeah. The, the doggy paddle. <laughs> All right then, Captain. Let's get on with it. You've got some weddings to perform. Yeah, come on, Cap. I've been waiting all my 